energy feeds a system based on more. More consumption, more travel, more stimulation. But what happens when we all just stop? Will a day at the office ever be worth the long, hard commute? Will we be able to justify the weekend city break or overnight business trip? In a world changed by the COVID-19 pandemic, DNVGL believes it is more important than ever to understand our energy future. This is that story. The economic and behavioral impact of COVID-19 has reduced the amount of energy required by humanity. In 2050, the world will use 8% less energy than previously forecasted. COVID-19 has hastened decarbonization milestones. Oil demand is unlikely to recover to previous levels, and 2019 will go down as the year of peak CO2 emissions, five years earlier than the pre-pandemic forecast. Yet, we are still nowhere near on course to limit global warming to sustainable levels. We need to repeat this year's extraordinary emission reduction every year through to 2050 to reach the ambitions of the Paris Climate Accord. But there is hope in the extraordinary nature of the energy transition. In the space of a generation, renewables will gain parity with fossil fuels in the energy mix. 2032 is the year of peak energy, the first time in post-industrial times that humanity will start using less energy despite the global economy growing. Electrification is spreading at breathtaking speed. 41% of final energy demand will be met by electricity by mid-century, double today's level. It is perhaps the electric car that best demonstrates how policy and technology can combine to spectacular effect. DNVGL forecasts that by 2032, half of new cars sold will be electric. A tremendous turnaround for a sector previously considered difficult to decarbonize. But other industries must follow. Natural gas will be our largest single energy source for decades to come, yet only 13% will be decarbonized by mid-century. Hydrogen holds enormous potential for difficult to decarbonize sectors, but it needs a significant push from policy to scale. We must use the technology available to us to transition faster. <laughs>